Yo, we're Vice Moth. We're in Princess Park talking about moths. We're dressed as moths, as you can see, and our TV show is on the theme of moths. And we just wondered what you know about moths. Uh, not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> they look beautiful, some of them at least. Yeah. But I know they eat my clothes. <laughs> clothes moths. Clothes yeah. moths. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I when I was a kid, uh, we were in school and uh, in Africa, and uh, in about August time, we got swamped with moths. Really? And uh, I don't know the type of moths they are, but they leave uh, they leave you with all rashes. And it, so nearly everybody oh. in the school oh. will have rashes. Yeah. Do you know what they're called? No. No. We can look it up. We'll find out. What yeah. part of Africa do you come from? Ghana. 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 Okay. So oh. it's quite hot. It is very hot. Okay. Moths like it. How okay. big is that moth? Uh, they're not. Uh, maybe about that size. So your experience of moths is, is negative? It's. Oh, I still like them. <laughs> because they, quite a lot of them are pretty to look at, but yeah. I prefer but butterflies. Most yeah. people say that. That's one of the reasons why we do this, is because moths seem to be the ones that get more bad attention. <laughs> They're like yeah. the underdog yeah. of the left yeah. deeper two. What's under that? Moth. But, uh, the under moth. I, I believe that uh, God is, you know, in God's scheme of things, yeah. moths play a very important part yeah, I agree. in nature. Yeah. You know, uh, I think. Uh, if not all, every animal God has created has a part to play yeah. in keeping the balance of nature. We found one. Sure. Zora, we're being harassed by moths. What do you think of moths then? What's your instant thought? Uh, I'm quite terrified of moths. Really? Very fluffy. I like moths. I like particularly big moths. Yeah. But on telly. Yeah. From a distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't want them on you. No, it no. has to be something safe between me and the Is moth. it true that like if you dust the dust off the moth's back, it can't fly anymore? Ooh. Oh, I don't well, fact I'll check. Look into that, yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to talk for one sec, which was I was at a party and I was uh, laughing in, like in hysterics at someone's joke, and the moth flew into my mouth and then flew out of my mouth oh. in that, and all this dust went everywhere. You'd think the dust came off them, but it did just fly away, so maybe. Maybe you had a particularly dusty mouth. Yeah. yeah. It sounds like a conflation yeah. of the Samson myth somehow as well, like if he has his hair cut yeah. off, you know, he loses his strength. Yeah, maybe exactly. something like that. Have you conflated the two things, John? I don't. No, I'd never before, <laughs> uh, but maybe now I will. Yeah. Yeah. There's also a band called Vice Moth, as well. I yeah, think. It is they're there? Cool. Yeah, yeah, they're cool. Don't know if you've seen them. Before. Oh, I thought you were. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. I ruined that. At one stage during the last one, we had a hundred unique visitors. Oh wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we hope to increase that. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not. That, I'm joking. It's not that many, is it, really? <laughs> yeah, I wonder what do you think that the moth is searching for when it approaches the light in that way? Nice question. Very good question. I think it's a death drive. Death drive. Oh God.